assalamu alaikum friends welcome to our youtube channel today in this video we would be talking about uh, the microsoft windows uh, one of the most famous uh, tools that is uh, not all known by all people but is also not common but we would be introducing you with all the necessary information so that you could uh, determine the details of your computer so we are going to show you how you can use DXDIAG as a software tool to determine the all the specifications of uh, your computer that is in use. So what is DXDIAG? DXDIAG is a short for DirectX Diagnostics. DXDIAG is a Microsoft tool included with DirectX that uh, allow you to view uh, system information and DirectX information relating to your video card and sound card. This tool is helpful when needing to troubleshoot driver related issues being encountered by DirectX. So in this video I will show you the complete steps uh, that how you can uh, run the DXDIAG tool. Just press on the uh, Windows Start button. After clicking on this, here we have the search uh, uh, box. Here you can also uh, search the co uh, run command. So we have written here the run. So here we have again a uh, run app uh, and we have to click on it. After opening this, we have to write the DXDIG as it was written before. So we have typed the DXDIAG here and after writing this uh, DXDIAG command we have to click on the OK button. After clicking OK you have to wait for some time and here we go we have uh, pop up shown up uh, just uh, over our screen and here are different details uh, that the software is showing. Here is the heading DirectX Diagnostic Tool and, uh, as I was uh, talking before. So this tool reports detailed information about the DirectX components and drivers installed on your system. If you know what area is causing the problem, click on the appropriate tab above. Otherwise you can use the next page button below to visit each page in sequence. So through this tool you can uh, get all the relevant information about your PC what's the RAM what is the processor inside your PC what is the BIOS version what is uh, the CMOS battery and uh, how much uh, hard disk is installed in your PC which direct version is installed on your PC or which DirectX version does your graphics card support so here we go here we have uh, the date and time uh, section then we have the computer name then we have the operating system that we are using here we have windows 10 pro 64 bit which is 19043 build here we have the english language as uh, the original setting and uh, the system manufacturer is dell i have uh, the latitude e5430 model which is non vpro here we have the bios uh, version and according to different uh, uh, computer modules there would be a different bios version so you don't have to worry about this thing here we have the processor which is intel core i5 3340 so i have the m series cpu which is of 2.7 gigahertz almost 4 core cpu and uh, we have uh, the memory of 8192 mb ram which means i have 8 gb of ram in my computer and here we have the page file and the DirectX version of course we have DirectX 12 in Windows 10 then we have the second tab which is of display here we have all the relevant information about our graphics card and the dis graphic display driver that we are using so here we have uh, the Intel RHD graphics 4000 which is an integrated GPU uh, which always comes with Intel uh, uh, CPUs so it is not a good dual graphics uh, machine so here we have uh, no 10 dedicated graphic card but if you have a dedicated graphic card in your pc module the then definitely there would be a uh, second option or gpu1 uh, gpu2 option uh, in an other tape which would also tell you about the further uh, description about the graphics card so here we it is the uh, unfortunately displaying the 0 MB video RAM but 
uh, when you would uh, just uh, scroll to the uh, Intel HD 4000 graphics uh, uh, product module you would find that it has a 32 MB of RAM so it is a shared memory that is shared by the random access memory and here we have the display mode monitor which is BNP HDR is of course not supported in Intel HD 4000 and of course here are the some few uh, driver details and uh, as I had uh, told you that uh, only DirectX 11.2 is supported not the 12 but currently we have a uh, DirectX 12 installed on our PC and the third tab is of the sound here it all comes about the device which is installed and the drivers that run our speaker uh, sound system and the fourth tab is of the input all the devices input and output that we have connected to our uh, laptop not notebook or computer are all displayed here another classic uh, option that we were used to uh, find our specification of the pc was to go to the my pc or uh, the this pc and click on the right button and go to the properties section after clicking on the property section there were the details uh, which also display all the relevant information that we were in need so i hope that you would find this video helpful and uh, uh, you would be able to find all the necessary specification in your computer thank you very much and don't forget to sub like and subscribe to our channel thank you very much